But first, we begin here. Some Union County parents and students speaking out tonight. They are begging school board members to change their minds and require masks. We all need to do our part to protect one another. One family even posting that video just saw online expressing their concerns. Union County is one of only six school districts in the state that is not requiring students and staff to wear masks in the classroom. This coming as the Union County Health Director sent a letter to the school district today saying because there is not a mask mandate, students and staff should be quarantining for 14 days if they test positive for COVID-19. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner is joining us live from Indian Trail Elementary School. So, Chloe, it sounds like without explicitly calling for a mandate, he's pushing for more to be done to help keep kids safe in the class. Exactly right, Vanessa. The letter that the health director just sent within the last hour really just doubles down on those health and safety protocols that we've been hearing about since the start of the pandemic, and that includes masking in the classroom. When I spoke to the health director earlier today, he said that he has been encouraging the school board to follow those guidelines. I also spoke with that family who made the video, and the kids say they really don't mind wearing masks in the classroom. Them, their parents, they're really just hoping that change will come and quickly. I call this meeting of the Union County School Board. For fourth grader Kaylee Testa, it's pretty simple. And I want everyone to be safe. So masking everybody is a good idea. The version of the Union County School Board meeting her family and other concerned parents created. All in favor? Yeah. Yeah. All isn't what happened when the school board met earlier this week. Masks are still optional. We expressed our concerns to the board. The Testa family hoping their video will change minds. So here's the not so cool thing when you get sick. Kaylee got COVID within the first week of school. They believe it could have been avoided. I absolutely think that that would have protected her. Um, I mean, the science shows that it would have been many orders of magnitude greater of protection than what, you know, than her alone wearing the mask. The Union County Health Director Dennis Joyner says he's consistently advised the school board to follow the state's toolkit. And one of the things that's a key element to the school toolkit is uh, requiring masking while indoors uh, for um, for schools. And so, you know, I, I clearly support that. With community transmission high and hospitals stressed, he thinks masking in schools is an essential way to make the community as a whole safer. But I think we're all in that position right now where we have to uh, do a little more sacrificing. For first grader Owen, the sacrifice was staying home to quarantine. I miss my friends. His family urging school board members to consider how the kids acting like them feel. It's like armor. The school board does have an emergency meeting on Monday. We know that there will be a COVID update, but they won't specify if masks will be talked about at that meeting. It is virtual. Live in Union County, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte. And folks can be sure we'll be following that meeting closely. Thank you, Chloe. And now